So the Architectural Archives here at Penn is really an amazing repository of architectural records, drawings, models, papers, documents associated with the creative process of some of the greatest architects of the 20th century. The core of the collection really are architects who practiced here in Philadelphia from after the Civil War, including Frank Furness, the architect who did our incredible library here at Penn, through to Wilson Eyre, uh, Cope and Stewartson, who were the architects of our dormitories, our university museum, and then on up to the mid 20th century, and that includes people like Louis Kahn. So when people come in and they use the collection, they're really engaged with the great art of of the 20th century. This is really a completely unique chance to, to follow sort of a master architect and how he developed a thought. So the archives are really useful for many groups. We think first of the students and the professors who are here at Penn. Being part of a school of design, which the archives is, we're really thinking about the education of architects. We also have a lot of people who own these buildings come in. Owners are very seriously concerned with the long-term stewardship and conservation of a great work of art. And so the records we have here are really an integral part to understanding what it is they've got and how to understand it, how to care for it into the future, and how to change it, right? How to thoughtfully engage with the question of change over time. We have Louis Kahn's collection here, which is 36,000 drawings and a variety of other mediums. So there's obviously, you know, he, he's one of the, the greatest architects of the 20th century. So for people who study architecture, you know, he's, he's a main draw. Among Kahn's chief works was the parliament complex, the capital complex in Dhaka in Bangladesh. It's a commission he received in 1962. It's one of those dream jobs where you in essence get to design a city. So it's not a surprise that the government of Bangladesh is concerned with the long-term preservation of the site. So there's a delegation here from Bangladesh right now. They've been asked by their prime minister to come over to look at the resources we have here. Right now, after 45 years, the building is, it has started degrading. And for that, I think this original drawings that we found here is most important to us because that way you know what it was and the rule for basic conservation or restoration is that you need to know what it was originally. The drawings we have here, there are over 8,000. There's probably you know, 100,000 letters and documents and, and telegrams. So once we found the original things, now we are going to come up with an huge plan to restore for restoration and conservation of this great building. We are here, we are done and we have found so many things in here which we didn't want in the first place. Now we want them so badly. The director and the assistant director of that project have really gone to extraordinary lengths to, to demonstrate how one thinks about cons you know, managing the long-term conservation of a project like this and that really allows for everyone to understand the incredible heritage that we have and the incredible value of the records that, that we have here at Penn.